What's up you guys, this is Junior Creator and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock. Guys, so let's talk about Tesla as for its earnings are coming out on Tuesday. So far Tesla has been falling, plummeting and in this video we'll talk about the price action for certain areas as if it has to turn bullish, what price structure it has to confirm for that first and or is it going to continue to fall and if it does continues to do that how low can it continue to fall so we'll talk about all of this in this video i'll also take you over a couple of articles and news that i have on tesla here so we'll talk about that as well and um also guys uh later today there will be videos coming out on tesla's options analysis as well for this coming week so Definitely, um, you would want to see that as well. Please hit the like and subscribe for that reason so that you don't miss any of my videos if you are interested and find my videos valuable and helpful. Now, before going further, I want to also let you know that none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. Okay. So, yes, we have earnings of Tesla on Tuesday, that is the 23rd of April. Now, let's go through the articles. Look, uh, to be fair, the sentiment on the street is not that great on Tesla. At least, I mean, market has been beating down on Tesla. Many analysts hate Tesla for sure, but not just Tesla, not Tesla, Elon Musk. And now they have a reason, you know, they have an excuse to beat him again up, right? So price has been falling continuously. Um, and so earnings. Right, Tuesday earnings are the only thing that can either save Tesla or it can break Tesla miserably more. And if it breaks Tesla, what level it may come down to? I will talk about that in just a second. Let's go through the first um, some of the articles that uh, and news that we have on Tesla. So Tesla slashes prices of Model Y, Model X, and Model S vehicles in US. On Friday, Model Y, X, and S vehicles in the U.S. by $2,000 price was cut. And um, Tesla slashed the price for its Model Y base variant to $42,990 from $44,990, while the Model X base variant will now be costing at $77,990. I don't know what this original cost is, but they are cutting across the board on Y, X, and S vehicles by $2,000. So yeah, other cost would be it's by $2,000, right? So. 79,990 original cost. So they are not just cutting costs in US, um, they are also cutting prices in China. Tesla has lowered the cost of Y, X, and S model. Um, sorry, the, yeah, lo lowering their lineup in China, according to its official website, after they already cut on, in the United States. And here are the details. Um, you know, Model 3 and Model Y on in China. So now Wall Street has another reason to beat up Elon Musk here, and that is, here we go, Tesla cuts price again. It's a sign of weakening demand. Um, so again, I don't, again, guys, look, I'm not going to go into the speculations as for what the demand is here on Tesla and if they're having trouble selling the vehicles. Earnings and earnings guidance will talk for itself. Okay, I'll, I'll let those actions work out. Now, um, Tuesday, definitely earnings, look, much of it I think is already priced in. So what is the earnings being expected? Let's take a look at that. It's 22 billion. Last time it was expected 25 billion or something revenue, but Tesla still missed on that by you know half a million dollar almost and then uh, Tesla sorry half a billion <laughs> they missed by half a billion dollar All right and this time uh, the estimates are lower let's see if Tesla meets these but uh, you know we will see guys earnings and the earnings call will affect the price you know technically now before that there's Monday as well now I would say that guys until Tuesday afternoon sure these technicals would work but when you know Tuesday's post market rolls around and earnings calls earnings happens and earnings calls happen technicals will change but here are the possibilities so right now Tesla is what let's jump into the price section now what is Tesla doing 
it's in the downtrend right lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows this is you know you can see on the daily interval we are in this channel of um you know lower highs lower lows so we haven't really been able to capture that uptrend back on tesla now we have had some swing plays on long you already know that if you have been following my videos i took long plays here i took long plays here i took long plays here as well but this lo these long plays haven't been turning into long-term long plays these have been swing and intraday plays right so as for where the price action is and this is the scenario before the earnings okay because after the earnings the use cases or the situations will be different so before earnings what we have is if if you if you right now well tesla is not bullish guys oh, sorry tesla is just falling it's a just a lower high and there is no sign of bullishness tesla as if it loses this little bit of a lower channel that we have tesla has a possibility of coming down to 133 dollars right because it's just falling now if you want to see tesla become bullish we have to we can take a look at hourly interval if you want to see tesla become bullish you want to see at least intraday you first intraday on monday want to see tesla above 143 and 73 cents but most importantly if you want to have going in tuesday some upside con confirmed play you want tesla to right now get out of this resistance of 150 dollars to 152 dollars the problem is that unfortunately just because we're in the downtrend tesla is it has it, it can only change the structure if it gets above 151 for the swing side and there's some scalp intraday long play may come if it gets above 148 and 81 cents but remember this 151 dollars range is a strong resistance right now so if we get above that 151 it opens up the room to 160 dollars but nothing more than that right now at least until earnings because here's the thing guys you only have two days of trading once the earnings happens it's tuesday's uh, post market right so you still have two days of trading on this but if it can't do it by monday going above 151 there's little to no chance of this turning bullish now if you are a bull you would like to see tesla go up here by the earnings or before earnings so that if it gaps if it fails earnings is you know um if they are a flop then tesla doesn't go like 120 dollars or 130 dollars it might gap down but go up maybe up to 140 dollars but things like that but it all depends guys now you know earnings so technically i gave you the level but remember these technicals are only valid until earnings because once earnings happens whatever comes out in the earnings look i don't know what's gonna come out in the earnings but whatever happens in the earnings the price action would change new technicals will form either to the upside or to the downside we'll talk about that when that happens during that time but right now it's not uh, looking favorable in that direction technically for next two days on tesla unless and until it recaptures these levels also significant level like 152 and 41 cents most just you can you know you can just look at this level 152 and 57 cents to keep it simple i still gave you those scalp level at the intraday again if you have access to my tools you you already have access to all these levels you if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video otherwise guys yeah uh, there's a possibility if tesla continues to break level lower you know one at a time so for example if tesla at this point loses this level on t monday 145 it, guys yeah it, it's it's just gonna come another leg down okay and until where can that leg down can come and that is all the eventually it, there's a possibility by tuesday it can come also to 134 so the range is that this is like 160 possibly by tuesday or 133 we can't go further than that in this video because we have earnings tuesday's afternoon that will change the technicals and things will differ okay after that so this is only a two days potential place on either direction as the level shows confirmation just so you know that strength is weak right now on tesla and uh, unfortunately that's what it is guys let's take a look at weekly interval as well before wrapping up this video so not looking great 
again it all comes down to earnings guys it's just in the downtrend constantly right now now i'm also seeing here that on the chart here you can see that uh, their earnings all in all have been declining you know um the 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 q2 of 2023 was good but then you know we had q3 uh, 2023 and 2020 q4 the things have been slipping lower but again work with the technicals right um and as technicals would change during earnings we'll then talk about that then as well but as for monday and tuesday this is the levels i want to provide the sentiment on the stock and how things at least to me are looking like on tesla um at this point you know um yeah it has been falling guys i'll just work with the levels until earnings the levels that i provided you on the hourly interval nothing more than that at this point if you ask my bias where do i think it will go price section is telling me it's looking to the downside if it can't recapture by monday if it doesn't close above 152 and 39 cents on monday tuesday is not a bullish play even if let's say monday tesla goes green but closes below 152 and 39 cents is not bullish that still has to be taken just as a rebound and we will then talk about if it about if it's looking good to break the level or go lower so yeah that will be for tuesday we'll talk about on monday all right guys well that's pretty much it for this video i'll be doing qq and spy in a complete separate video but you can see that it has been flushing and i have been calling out about this one as well and also spy after distribution phase both these things are been selling it is what it is you know we gotta trade the game the way it is but yeah right now i'm not seeing any upside it uh, guys as i say it all comes down to the earnings most importantly at this point um yeah nothing more than that in just right now i'm seeing this another news come out tesla cuts price of full self-driving software by a, a third to eight thousand dollars Tesla slashed the price of its full driving assistance software to 8,000 from 12,000 in the United States. Its website showed on Saturday. All right, guys. Well, um, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care.